Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to link together two different project schedules. Now, before we do this I'm going to talk you through the scenarios. Now you could have multiple projects stored on a shared drive somewhere, you could have a project, two projects that you're working on on your hard drive. You do need file access to both of the project schedules to be able to link them together, obviously to be able to read and write from them. You could share them in a SharePoint drive, OneDrive, dare I say, any other file sharing system. Or you could use Project Online as well. You might want to do it in a slightly different way, but the basis of how you do this is the same. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm a project manager. I'm working on this project. This is my Tokyo Olympics project. And I want to link to another project on my project, on my desktop, let's say. And I want, if I update this schedule, I want it to reflect in the other schedule. So obviously we have a finish date here of 6.15.22. When we begin the games, I want to start the next project. So I want to make sure we're tracking. So I'm going to click on the project ribbon. I'm going to click sub project. And in here, I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to click on my five things project from another video that I did. You can see this one is starting on 2.28.22. This one is finishing on 5.6.15. So I want the finish date of Begin Games to be linked to the start date of my Five Things project. So you can see actually when you insert the project, it does it as a summary task here. And you can expand it and see everything about that project. So I'm basically looking at two schedules merged into one here. I'm going to click on begin games, hold down the control key and then click on task one and then I'm going to go to the task ribbon and link the two together. It takes a couple of seconds but then you can see it knows the file path. All right and if I actually go into this I'm just going to show you so you can see how the mechanics of this work. If I look at the successes column I can see that this Begin Games has a successor of task one on the five things project. Cool. What I'm actually going to do at this point is actually just close out this project. To do that, I can roll it back up if I want, like so, and actually just delete that. It's going to say, um, do you want to delete that and it subs tasks? Yeah, I do. Now it's going to say, do you want to save the changes to that five things? And because we put this successor and predecessor relationship, yeah, I do want to save it, but it's gone, and all we're left with is that ghost task. So the link is made, the successor there. If I were to go into task one within the other project, in fact, well, let's do that real quick. Open five things, you can see it has begin games as a I call it a ghost task. You can see it's grayed out and it's driving the start date of this task now. We're now starting on 6.16 as opposed to um, the start of the year. Let me show you something else cool about this. If I close this schedule, all right, and I'm going to push this one out. So I'm going to say um, maybe instead of 16 months, it's stretched to 18 months. We're now starting on 6.16, right? Did that change? Didn't change. Let's um, push this one out. I'm just going to do this for the sake of the video. I would never do this usually, but I'm going to put constraint. Push it out to uh, November of 22. Boom. Now this one's updated. I didn't update this one, but big games has been pushed out. I've got a constraint on that one. This one's now been affected by this project being changed. I'm going to save my Tokyo project. I'm actually going to close out my Tokyo project. I'm going to open the other project here five things we're going to get this notification saying oh this has changed this date has changed and if I scroll over you can see the details of what's happened right it's kind of hard to see it here but uh, you get the idea I'm going to click on begin games I'm going to accept it do I want to accept this change and let it update my schedule let's move this out of the way a little bit it's going to be pushing out my date I'll accept it Task one, accept, good, close, and now boom, my project has been updated to reflect 
the finish date of the begin games on the other project, even though it's closed. So we've got that link between the two. It knows to go look in this other file and look, pull that successor date from that project. And it will be there until we remove that predecessor from the predecessor's column or the successor from the other project. Hope you find this useful. Please like and share. Please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. And if you have any suggestions for other things that might help you day to day, please feel free to leave a comment on this video. Thanks so much.